Good Wednesday morning. I hope you are doing well. Uh, Josie joined me today to, to uh, bring the, the devotional. So, hi, Josie. Can you say? <laughs> it's a little, little high for you there, isn't it? There you go. Um, I wanted to share something with you quickly out of Mark chapter 7. And again, as you're fasting and praying, and I know many of you are really contending right now in your life for miracles and breakthrough in some places, I thought this would be encouraging. It certainly was to me. I got some, several in fact, my list of, of my prayer list of needs regarding people who just really need to see miracles and breakthroughs is, is, is a long one right now. And so this was very encouraging to me. But in, in Mark chapter 7, toward the end of the chapter, people bring a deaf man to Jesus. He's deaf and he has a severe speech impediment. And Jesus takes him away from the others, and he does some unusual things in, the, in this case that he doesn't usually, you don't usually see him doing. But one of the things that I love about this story is that you get an insight into what's going on inside of Jesus when he is healing people, going on inside of him. And I just want to read you this verse. This is verse 34. So Jesus gets ready. He preps the man, does some unusual kinds of things. Then he, Jesus, gazed into heaven, sighed deeply, and spoke to the man's ears and tongue. And what he says in Aramaic is, and I, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing this, is um, ethpoc, um, ethpothic, uh, which I have no idea where the, where the emphasis is supposed to be, ethpothic, or I don't know. But anyway, it translates, and this is the important part. It translates as, open up right now, or, or now, open up. And the thing about both of these, these pieces with Jesus that I think are so important is he gazed into heaven. He got his focus on what was going on in heaven. Um, he, uh, the, the Aramaic means he focused on or he contemplated heaven. So I don't know how long he gazed into heaven, but... There was something in Jesus that he realized, I've got to have a heavenly picture of this. And it makes me think, of course, about what Jesus said later on when he said, I only do what I see the Father doing. And what a beautiful picture of Jesus himself looking into heaven and saying, okay, what am, what am I seeing the Father doing? And I'm just going to do the same thing here. Um that sighed deeply. I've often wondered about that, but this morning I got a picture of that that I thought was pretty cool. You know, when you think of sighing, you tend to often to think about, you know, that kind of weariness, that kind of I'm tired of this, whatever. But there's another kind of sigh, and that is a sigh of, oh, oh, that's perfect. And I really think it was that kind of sigh right there. Um, you know, when, when you're thinking about something and all of a sudden you finally get the answer and you're like, Oh, yes. You know, and I really feel like it was that. Jesus saw what the Father was doing. And then the other thing is, Jesus says, open up now. Just, just shortly before this, Jesus had, had opened up the scroll in the synagogue to Isaiah 61, and he had read the words that had been prophesied over him, that he was going to be the one who would open up prison doors. He would open blind eyes. And now he's getting a chance to stand on that word and exercise it in faith as the Father has shown him what he wants done. And right there is just, I think, in that one verse, such a beautifully encapsulated picture of what it is that he's calling on us to do. You keep gazing into heaven. Do not keep gazing at the problem, the circumstances, the numbers, the doctor's reports, um, whatever, the, the news, the headlines, don't keep gazing at that. Gaze at heaven. Gaze until the Father gives you a picture of what he wants done. When you get it, rest in it, rejoice in it. Let your spirit sigh in relief. Whew. There you go. That's what he's wanting to do. And then speak those promises confidently and trust God to do some miracles in your life and through your life and the lives of others. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. Hope to see a whole bunch of you this evening at Group Life.